What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you a very basic basketball move that I use through my entire career and it helped me out so much. It's not one of those moves that's gonna put you on like the top 10 highlight reel or anything. It's not flashy at all. It's super simple, but if you master it, it will help you so much in just getting yourself open, getting your shot open, and just being able to do all of the really cool flashy skills that you wanna do. So the move is the jab step. I'm sure that you've heard of it before, but I'm gonna go over it with you guys today. So basically, a jab step is one step towards the hoop. So you're coming around like this, you're coming with your inside foot, you'll have the ball in a triple threat position, and if your defender is guarding you here, so this is your pivot foot, this is the foot that you'll jab with. So. The way that you use the jab step is to kind of read how your defender is going to play you. So if you jab and your defender doesn't move, then you can take one more baby jab, put the ball on the ground and blow past them. If you jab step and your defender falls back, which I love when this happened, then you literally pull back and shoot the ball. And if you can master that jab and get it long and get it fast, then it makes it easier for you to pull back and create that space and shoot the ball. Out of this, you can do a ton of different things. So if you do the jab where you get around your player, maybe someone else stops you, maybe you pull back to a, a fadeaway or a step back jumper. If you go here, they fall back, you go up to shoot, then they come running towards you, then now you have your pump fake, and then you can blow by them again. So there's just so many different options that you could use from this, and I was a two guard, I was a shooter. I didn't like to do all of these little like shake and bake dribbling moves, but this simple jab step, if you master it, will help you so much. So now I'm gonna show you just a couple options with the jab step. Alright guys, one last thing I forgot to mention is that if you aren't the quickest person on your team, this move will definitely help you as well because my foot speed was never like naturally that fast, but this helped me to get a better first step on my defender and like I said, just helped me to open up my mid-range and outside shot for myself. So. I would totally recommend adding the jab step to your arsenal of skills if you don't have it already. If you do, let me know in the comments below how you use your jab step, how you get super creative with it, if there's any move that you like to do following your jab step. Thumbs up this video if you like it and also make sure to share it with your friends if you think it might help them as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos every week and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hands are dirty. <laughs>